Hello, water signs, you're last. Maybe you done been last, but that's okay because we always do the best for last, and that's the important thing. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is this? Shadow of Judgment for what week? September 27th to October 4. Like in golf, we just whispered the 4. Right? Let's see what your card is. Ooh, Knight of Cups Reverse. I'm going to write that down. Okay. That is your card. You guys aren't offering and you're being pretty angsty about it. Like teenage angst. So let's see. Remember guys, this could resonate with you. This could not resonate with you. Cross watchers, switch where you need to. Please don't tell me I'm reading stuff wrong because I have no idea. I just tell you the story. Okay. Anyway, if you want a personal read after this, all the information is in the description box below. First comers, or what, wait, new newcomers. First readings on the house. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Cancer, you got the Ace of Wands reverse. You are not fetching some booty. Or someone is not coming to fetch that booty. One of the two. And the King of Pentacles, someone is not going towards him. Right? Is it just me or cancer? Is it just is the, does it just seem like you guys are like the thickest bitches you all over me? I swear every one of you I've ever met has an ass that's like out there. Like, uh <laughs> I don't know why. I just had to bring that up. Anyway. Someone's not going for that booty. And it might be with the King of Pentacles. Someone who's settled, someone's getting their money tight and all that shit, and they are fighting that stuff. They want the upper hand. Ooh. Trying to be logical and decisive in this, trying to cut it out, but it's like you gotta cut out the fighting too. So what do you, what are you fighting for? This uh, okay. wow, this King of Pentacles could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? They might have a uh, they might have a mouth that doesn't just spill truth. It cuts hearts because this dude will stab you with this sword while he's telling you how pathetic you are, which is like holy shit. Okay, dude. It's a little much, right? Let's see. All that fighting, somebody's gotta look over and, like, really determine some shit, right? Someone's decided to end some things. Here's the Queen of Pentacles. Counterpart to the King of Pentacles. It's like he went reversed, but he became a queen. Hmm. Dude. Someone had a lot of, like, stew. Hmm. Cancer. What is this? What is this, Cancer? Okay. So you got the Knight of Wands. Who isn't trying to make a passionate move? Who isn't trying to do something um, without, like, really charging in? Not trying to go into a fight full force. And it's, like, almost a logical, decisive thing in order to cut out and end things right here to stop waiting. But it's also, like, someone had a mouth about it, too. So it's just kind of like, what's the point of running your mouth if you don't want to have anything to do with it anymore? You know? One of those things, right? We're just, like, it is, like, what, it was almost like an added an insult to injury. Um, without really, like, thinking, because it was so impulsive. Like, this was impulsive, but this is, like, just last-minute shit. Right? Now, over here, someone's fighting some, was fighting some shit? They were, I should say. They were fighting things. But now they're sitting here with the Seven of Pentacles looking over what's gone on, and now they can't rest about it because they ran their mouth, possibly to a Capricorn, about a Capricorn, or they were running them out about a toxic situation right here between them and somebody else, right? We got the King of Pentacles right here who's saying some harsh nastiness to this Queen of Pentacles who is his counterpart, right? Which can also be Capricorn too, but it's like... Well, usually Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn for me as her court card, um, 
But honestly, it could be either or because this is the king. He's the provider. And it's like he's not happy with his wife because she was an unfaithful spouse. And that's what made this relationship so toxic right here. What happens? That's what we need to know. What happened? There is a great ass burden. Cancer, that might be you. Also, Pisces or Scorpio. You're just looking over shit like, what the fuck? Like, seriously. Why? Um, no communication or reaching out right here with the star reversed. Decided to move on to calmer waters in order to be happier with the self. Mmm. Were you too burdened possibly in a relationship, Cancer? Because, like, that's understandable, but, you know, like, either you or your person, like, you know, they need to calm the fuck down with the words. Doesn't matter what happened. What happens is you learn from it, and you move on, because you don't want to be bitter about it, right? Right. That's your shadows, my dear. Scorpio, you're next, bitch. <laughs> Let's see. What is up with you, Scorpio? What is up with my dear poisonous scorpions with lots of love in them? Right. You got a judgment call, Scorpio. You might be trying to resurrect something. You're trying to have the right idea. Because Lord knows you have enough shit on your brain. And it involves something that you just can't quite get over. Right? Now, you know, with this judgment call, there might have been a lot of nasty things said, a lot of harsh things said, possibly by a king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you might feel like you can't move on from this situation, but the Wheel of Fortune's turning, so you're doing it whether you want to or not. And you're still very indecisive because you are stuck in your head to the point where you can't really sleep too much. Um, this person with the harsh words, they might just even go come back for some second helpings of, like, I'm gonna beat your ass, you know? Like, if you really want an argument, I'll give you an argument. Like, presently they'll say whatever, but, like, they'll eventually want to charge in and start some shit with you, I feel like. Because here's combat right here. It's like a distraction for you, and it's not giving you any sort of break. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, Scorpio. So, yours is pretty intriguing, right? With yours, you have a judgment call right here. There's a king of swords who's going to be in front of you talking some um, probably nasty, hostile shit to your face or just happen to say shit to where they know you're going to hear it. And they're either expecting you to charge in for the battle or they're going to come in if you don't. Either way, um, at some point, they'll try to come back and uh, say their apologies, right? Now, there's shit that you can't get over but the wheel of fortune is turning despite the fact you feel like you don't get a, you're not getting the break, uh, and that reason is is because like this person now wants to come back to apologize to you, but you're at a crossroads right now. It's like you've been bothered by this shit for a while, and it's kept you from actually making the decision. Um, that now it's like it, it, it's almost like a you have no idea how to get out of this conflict with yourself. But it's like when this person shows up, it'll put you at the position where you're like, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna keep hanging here? Or am I going to accept this apology? Which, mind you, I just want to point this out. He's up in the fucking tree. How did the bitch reach him while he's up in this tree? In the after deck. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I just now noticed that. Like, he's in a tree. He's not, he's not on the ground. Where did the lady come from in the after deck? Anyway. Mm. Why is this person so hostile with you, Scorpio, this week? They don't want to communicate for nothing. They are burdened by stuff. Which is, you know, their lack of clarity on themselves. Like, you know, there's something that they don't know. Or there's something that they don't have an answer to immediately that's bothering them. And that's why they come at you. Which is hostile bullshit. And why they're either expecting you to come in for an argument. Or they're going to try to come into an argument with you. Cross watch your switch where you need to. You know. Uh, 
yeah, they don't have any idea what the fuck fair is. That's why they're trying to start with you. And they just want to ruin your good day. That's pretty much it. Like, whoever this is, Scorpio and Crosswatcher and whoever, um, this person is just like, whoever this air sign is that you might be dealing with, most likely Aquarius since that's just right fucking there, right? Um, I feel like they just want, they, they, like, it's like they want to throw shade just to see what you're made of and then come back with their own sort of shade, like, you know, this is not even my final form. Like, they just want to go all in on a person. You just happen to be a target for them because, like, I don't know. Maybe shit went sour in the past. Maybe they think that it's going to do something for them. I don't know. I really wouldn't care if I were you. And I don't think you do, either. I think you're too busy worried about yourself. In fact, it's like when this person um, comes in to apologize to you, it's going to set your brain like just like that. You'd be like, what the fuck have I been doing? Um, this is great. Now I don't have to deal with this shit anymore at all. You know, it's, it's going to be a relief, I feel like, for you. But that's your shadow this week, Scorpio. So look forward to that relief coming to you. Because I feel like it's going to release you more than it will the other person who's trying to get an argument from you. Even if you give it to them, you know, it's going to bring you some sort of stress relief. Because now you don't have to deal with the situation ever again. Let's see. Pisces, it's your turn. Let's see. You are on guard. When it comes to a lover situation. Oh lord. Okay, there it goes on the floor. Also, dealing with, um, avoiding a tower. Hmm, what's that about? Like, you're keeping your guard until you know that the new cycles begin or a cycle's over. This lover situation, possibly Gemini's been on your brain for a while. And you are avoiding the tower by going to church or just going to somebody who is a higher rank than you or stands higher in authority than you, either in the church or community or something like that. If you're trying to avoid a tower as best you can by going to the powers that be. Um, now, there is a desire to come together with somebody, but you're definitely keeping your eyes out about some shit, because it's like, you'll drive a motherfucker away if you have to. Like, you do have those swords for a fucking reason. However, there is a third wheel involved here. That's going to... It's like there's something here, like an overindulgence or something is going to... Uh... Hmm. I don't even feel like it's a third party relationship as much as it is just something that comes in that knocks everything out of the way. And then the Wheel of Fortune comes up. Pisces, right? You're on guard until you know that the cycle's ended, so that way you can actually come together for the right reasons, but it's like there's a third party involved here that just causes everything to go wrong, you know? You know, you've been avoiding the tire by going to authority figures and having them almost drive your adversaries away. However, there's a lover situation that, like, is on your brain that's bothering you that you're keeping your eyes peeled for, right? And that's because the Wheel of Fortune's turning on this, and they're, like, you know, um, mm, like, new challenger approaches. It's like uh, uh, somebody you didn't expect coming in and, and, like, throwing a wrench and stuff, like, killing the indulgences, killing what people like. Making it to where, like, the shit's nasty. Definitely a burden involved. Where someone was definitely not a victor is what they thought. And not being a little selfish Pisces, that could be you. That could be the person you're dealing with. Also a Cancer or Scorpio. Um, being a little bit selfish about how you're trying to start a new beginning, I feel like. And you're trying to manifest something. What are you trying to manifest? Because now I'm all curious. You don't know. You're just sitting out there staring into space. What? Okay. 
You, what are you waiting for? Okay, you're you, okay. There's something you're trying to manifest, and I think it's this new beginning right here. But you're sitting here waiting. I know you're kind of. It, it seems like someone like you or somebody else. Maybe you're dealing with another Pisces, but they're kind of like selfish because they don't get a victory and they feel burdened by that. It's like he's only noticing what he wants. A little bit. I don't know, man. It's crazy, though. But, that's what I got for you guys. So, that's the end of the reading, y'all. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't have to, you don't want to. But, I will greatly appreciate it. And I will love you each individually. Like a little teddy bears or whatever, but probably no hugs and more like just more readings because that's what I do best. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.